Loving you felt like drowning in your regret. In your sorrows, your abuse, as you used my body as a sanctuary, told me my body was a temple. That this temple was for you, as you praised in my chapel, you betrayed me. Removed me of my deity, made yourself a god, worship, and the worship was praised to you, crowned yourself as a god, and I drowned. I wrote a poem about your abuse, compared you to the ocean we saw last year. I tried to explain that loving you felt like drowning. There is an ocean in my mind and my head is drowning in all the bad memories of you. I tried drowning myself today. It was the first time I set foot on Mustang Island since our last good memory. I built a house out of my love, had it float on this ocean, and your love felt like the waves crashing into me. Its walls trying to drown us both, and no matter how bad you wanted to drown, to suffocate, to die, I didn't want to go down with you. I didn't tell you, but the ocean looks a lot like my birth water. Deadly. <coughs> you didn't want to kill yourself, so you killed the closest thing to it. Do you know what the loss of a child really feels like? You made me swallow salt water and painkillers so you could get rid of any sign of life that was in my belly. I tried drowning myself today. So I remember where my unborn child is buried. And I never told you that being in the doctor's after, uh, office after losing our child felt like drowning. I felt my child slip out, slip out of me, fall into my sorrowful hands, my stomach only filled with salt water, only filled from a broken mother's tears, and I bled water till I no longer had you in my system. I tried drowning myself today. It was the first time I've seen you since you've taken everything from me, including the beating hearts in my stomach. You look tired. Like if you had the life sucked out of you, how does it feel? To have the life sucked out of you, I bet you feel guilty. I bet it feels ugly. Do you understand me yet? I'd switch your life for my happiness anytime. Dear Mr. Mayhem, Sometimes I wish my first suicide attempt went successful so I wouldn't have to feel this feeling of disappointment. The feeling of being a burden in my own home kind of disappointment. Better yet, I wish my first suicide attempt went successful so I wouldn't have met you. You, the person who changed me for the worse. The feeling of your hands gripping my hips still haunt me to this day. Because of you, I have scars on my thighs from when you ripped open my body and took my soul. The feeling of being comfortable with a boyfriend is now a stranger to me and forever will make me uncomfortable. I am not comfortable in my own skin. You burned your touch on my body that I pray will soon shed its lair. The kind of burning sensation I get when I cut a piece of myself to get rid of your markings. Mr. Mayhem's markings. The dark that you led me to has become a, so welcoming to me and because of you I see the demons that haunt me till this day. You've opened a door that I always told myself will never open. And now it's hard for me to close it. I wish you would have just left me alone. You made me into the black you made me into the black and gray painting that now hangs in my room and that can't seem to go away. Dear Mr. Mayhem, sometimes I wish my first suicide attempt went successful. Then, blank. Like everything sank into oblivion. Like I sank into oblivion. Blank. My memory's gone, all of them, for a moment. Blank. Not a single thought, movement, memory. Blank. I don't know if hell or heaven will let me in. Blank. Thoughts running through my mind, will I be fine? Praying, hoping, begging that I am not dead. Blank. Thinking thoughts in my head, was I a good person? Memories, moments, mother, father, will they remember the hugs I gave? Blank. And I, am I in my grave? I pray this was not the end of me. Like. Thank God I was not right, surrounded by people that care. But why were they worried? But why were they scared? Well, I was unconscious, unknowing, and unaware of the people who love me. A seizure is not a thrill. Your mind goes blank. Moments in time become still. When you have witnessed it firsthand, people ask, no, 
They demand that the poor human being did not have to go through such a horrid moment. When you wake, you get attention, fame, but not for talent, not for blame. People who are not religious, praying, crying, or hoping that that kid is not dying. Being strong in these situations is not easy because when you all of a sudden hear church bells ringing, you got a feeling of sorrow or you're worried. Confusion and, con confusion and concern hang in the air like fog. But you must be strong. Be there for all those who need you. This is not a joke. Seizures. S-E-I-Z-U-R-E. Scary events in your rare every day. I hope you remember it in all of its ways. Enjoy life. Cherish those you love. Just remember that life is not a game.